Not to Average Tabletop. Woohoo! Welcome to Nacho Average Tabletop. I'm Pepper, and today we'll be unboxing Under Falling Skies from CGE, designed by Tomas Ulier. Probably pronounced that wrong. This is a solo game, um, and I've heard a lot of good things about it. I It was at least nominated for Solo Game of the Year for the Dice Tower Awards. I believe it uh, was victorious, but I'm not sure about that. I think it was. Um, a beautiful box cover. Um, a solo game. I'm always looking for a solo game and one with a unique or cool theme and box cover. Definitely had me interested. Uh oh Wait. I guess this is the end of this unboxing. <laughs> Got some plastic bags here. Got some, ooh. So there's some really cool plastic alien ships, I assume these are. Got all different colors. Got some pink, some just white, orange. Um, really cool. We've got two little um, trackers here. I'm guessing this, these will track some of your stats, possibly. Um, and a cube. Um, they're really cool, um, definitely fitting with the the overall look of the game so far. Um, yeah, plastic bag that came in. We've got some dice, some wooden dice that we'll look at later. Um, these are, I don't know, just standard wooden dice, D6. We've uh, got some blue, some gray, and some white. Okay, that didn't sound good. Love the sound of wooden dice. Um, these are not as colorful as the previous components, but um, they don't stand out too much. Uh, but they're good. Um, here's some a little booklet of all of CG's other games. Wow, they've made a lot. Um, and we've got this little wooden token. Um, not sure what it is. Um, I think it's probably is that kind of your worker that you're sending through your um, your station to activate different abilities, maybe. Um, I'm not sure, but it's really cool. Um, just a little, yeah, a little tank looking thing. Yeah, cool. You got, what is this? Stop. Please do not dump out everything in this box. The game has been carefully packed with a four-chapter campaign at the bottom. Remove the starting components at the top. Leave the campaign in the box for now. Um, we'll see if we do that. But otherwise, this looks like the rule book. Lots of illustrations. So, yeah. Um, a decent amount of pages. Fifteen, but it looks like a lot of illustrations in there and examples. So, not too complicated. Okay. This is a cardboard pop-out. Oh, it's full. Oh, that just falls right out. I hope it's the cardboard pop-out. <laughs> just falling apart. Um, but yeah, these are the, I assume, the sky that the... Alien ships will be coming down from. If you put these pieces in whatever order that it tells you to. Um, these are good, good quality, not the thickest, but still pretty good. Um, got some explosions on there. Some alien ships, some arrows. I'm guessing that determines their movement. Um, you got one, two, three, four of those. And you've got different locations. You can go to Roswell. Um, then a maybe more difficult side of Roswell. Uh, New York. Oh, you've got more, more tiles here. These are just falling out. Um, these look to be your, your main base where you're going to be taking your actions. Um, and I think, I think you're going to be moving your little tank, your little jeep. I just want to call it a jeeple, but 
this is not a jeeple. <laughs> um, I think you're going to be moving it along there, taking different actions or something like that. Um, you've got Washington, D.C. Ooh, you've got the mothership. Okay, I need to pop this out. Mothership. And one side, if you're an expert, you don't need all that help, but one side with um, kind of a guide a reference for all of the different phases. Um, that's nice. You got Washington, D.C. More player boards. Um, this looks like a scorecard. And then this looks like possibly the rest of the stuff. Well, actually, let's look. Yes, it looks like we are supposed to stop right here. But I'm going to take a little look and try to keep these in order. So, spoiler alert, if you don't want to see anything, I don't know if this is going to give anything away, but we'll just take a little peek. This looks like artwork. Oh, this does actually look like a story here. So, spoiler alert, it looks like they're going to attack the Statue of Liberty. Um, ooh, I like that. I like that they kind of have this comic book um, in between uh, games, little story going on. Um, so yeah, that looks pretty spoilery. Um, but yeah, it looks like future. Um, you'll be getting more boards. Um, yeah, just a lot more boards, more locations. Um, cool stuff. But yeah, I, I really like the artwork in all this, especially these these little comic strips here. Um, definitely a colorful game, unique colors in this one. Um, favorite component probably it's got to be a tie between this little this little. Um, <laughs> I just keep calling it a tank. It's not really a tank. Um, this little machine and these alien ships are both really cool. Um, but that is all in Under Fallen Skies. Well, not technically all. There is that whole campaign, but I don't really want to open all of that just yet. Um, but yeah, really cool looking game. Can't wait to get this one played. Always looking for a cool solo experience, and this looks promising. Thank you for watching. Check out our other videos. Subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Um, don't forget to hit the like button, and don't forget to keep on nibbling.